What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 8.2 was just recently released. Now along with this new firmware, Apple did include a major change, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what's new, what's changed, and is it faster than iOS 8.1.1. Now as you guys know, iOS 8.1.1 was released by Apple to improve speed on older devices such as the iPhone 4S and iPad 2, and it did just that. It did a really great job of speeding up the system, it was much more usable, I mean just generally Generally, everything loaded faster, you would experience less bugs, and it just felt better, more natural. Now, in my actual test, I proved that iOS 7.1.2 was still faster than 8.1.1, but 8.1.1 did a great job of improving what iOS 8 ruined. Now 8.2, it just came out, it's only available to developers for now, however with this firmware Apple did include one major change, and that's introducing the Apple Watch UI to iOS 8. So this is only available for newer devices of course, the 5S, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but the Apple Watch is coming out soon, I mean a few months, and we need to be prepared for it. So with iOS 8.2, Apple gave all the developers access to the WatchKit UI, and that's not something we can see. So nothing has physically changed in the firmware, I haven't seen any new toggles or features or anything like that it's all under the hood changes to accommodate the new apple watch now i want to go ahead and see is it faster now generally on the iphone 5 i haven't noticed a difference and that's a good thing because sometimes newer firmwares like ios 8 could make the performance worse so let's go ahead and see how it actually compares all right so on the left i have my iphone 5 loaded with ios 8.1.1 which is the newest firmware available to all devices currently in iOS 8.2, which is only available to developers as I make this video. So this is beta one, first stage. Let's go ahead and see how they compare. So here's Geekbench. And with nothing open in the multitasking pane, let's go ahead and run this test. And here are the results. They're almost identical. iOS 8.2 is just two points ahead and one point behind on the single core score. And that's great. It is usually a good sign that the newer firmware stays at the same performance level, especially at such an early beta stage. So that's the Geekbench test. Now let's go ahead and launch a couple applications, see if they improved any of the launching. Here's the App Store. And looks like both take a while, but 8.1.1 is just a tad bit faster. Let's try the phone application. All right. Let's say we want to send a message, which one will open faster. Oh, did you see that little bit of glitch there? So, or lag. Let's try maps. Almost identical. So it looks like 8.2 is just a little bit behind, but that's understandable. It is still in the beta stage. Overall though, it's fairly quick, you know, nothing to complain about. And there's no new features that I can show you sadly. It's all under the hood. So iOS 8.2, we can expect it within the next couple of months. It's gonna be for the Apple Watch because Apple's gonna wanna make sure that all of the newer devices that are capable of supporting the iWatch are able to do so when they do release it. Now also 8.2 is gonna see a jailbreak. I mean, the jailbreak that's being worked on right now, it's very very unlikely they'll release it on 8.1.1 or 8.1.2. They're going to wait until iOS 8.2 until they release that larger jailbreak. So guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you how 8.2 compares to 8.1.1 and the new features. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.